Hello everybody, I'm back again at the kitchen. Today is April the 18th and we are bored, we're just sitting here. So I decided to make another meal for y'all. So this dish is uh, basically just a regular dish that I did before, which is the, uh, I'm making a goat and rice here. So let me show you what I'm putting in the rice right now, okay? So here it comes. So all the mess that I'm making here. All right, so I got the bay leaves, I got cinnamon, chicken cube, and this is for the hawaji, uh, a teaspoon of hawaji, and, and, and I got uh, cardamom, and I got uh, gloves. I believe I said it right. I always have trouble with this too, but anyway, I always said it right. This is for the rice, and I got for the goat meat here, I got a tablespoon of chili paper, a tablespoon of paprika, and a tablespoon of hawaji, I mean, sorry, cumin, and and this one is a mixed, like hawaji. Basically, it's a seasoning that I I usually fry it, and basically, like it looks like this. I fry it on the pan, and I dice it, and that's how it looks like. Okay, it's no secret in there. So I got a couple garlics here, about six gloves here, that I'm gonna smash it like this. And I got two cups of rice right here. So like that. So idea is to marinate the meat for at least overnight. That's what I like. But this idea just came in to me right now. Something to do. We're stuck at home with this crazy COVID-19. I want to just make something like that. So I'm gonna bring that. And I got three tablespoons of a yogurt here, okay? All right, I'm gonna put the yogurt, the garlic together, like that. I'm gonna drink the chili paper, paprika, the cumin, and all the season that I fried and I diced it. So I'm gonna mix that. I'm gonna show you all a different way of making the goat meat, okay? So, like that. So, like that. I got one probably say I got about one one pound or one kilo looks like more than a pound anyway so all right so gonna dip that thing inside there so dip that thing in there all right and then make sure your hands are nice and clean you mix it like that I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna add some salt. Okay. I'm gonna add some salt. All right, let's add some salt and some pepper, okay? Salt's coming, like that. Some black pepper. So I'm gonna leave it for about a, an hour. I'm gonna leave it for about an hour. And, and I'm gonna fry it. And I'm gonna finish it up in the oven, okay? This is a goat meat, so it takes a little longer than a, a cow. See how delicious it look like now, okay? Let's just leave it, let it simmer together here. While it's simmering here, this thing. I'm done with this. So I'm having the rice soaked for about an hour or two as well. And I have the goat meat soaked. soaked. And, and this is what I'm gonna be using to cook the rice with. Meanwhile, while it's soaking, so I gotta do some. So I'm gonna probably go start up my motorcycle 
it's been seven months that I didn't touch it, so I'm gonna go start it up, hear the rumbling noise, and I'll see you back when I'm gonna cook this. Till then, don't go far. Yeah, it's right here. It's been sleep from November, from October, I mean, sorry. From October till now. So right now it's what, April the 18th today? So let's see if this charger that I have been charging for the last almost eight months. The charger's right there. Right there. The trigger charger. Okay, let's see if it's gonna start. All right. It's been for eight months. Right now it's about um, it's about I say 10 degrees, but usually I like to go outside for a motorcycle ride at least once about 15 degrees. If you hear the noise, some guys are still out there right now too. I like to use the this thing for the winter because I want to keep the tires off the ground. No. The alarm's still on. Quiet. Quiet. Now I gotta start for sure. I'm gonna make you start. Get that thing out of the way. I was waiting for the marination beside playing with the motorcycle, trying to get it ready and all that. I wish I had my plate was not expired, so I could have went for a little spin. So I just fixed the, the patio, get it ready for a real summer. We still got the snow over there, see that at the back there? Yeah, so now time to cook. Let's get it cooking. Right. Let's get cooking, mama stacks in over there. I'm back. You know, playing is, is over. Time to cook whatever I marinated earlier. And this time I'm doing this, uh, this meat 
completely different than I did last time. So I hope it's gonna come out good. So I'm gonna finish it in the oven and I'm gonna show you all. I always play around with the food. I always try to come out with different ideas, different techniques to cook and to taste it so that way maybe it might get better, it might get worse. I'll let you know how the food just comes out later. So to begin with uh, all the stuff here, it's right here. So I'm gonna, this is for the rice. I got the onions ready and every, everything else is gonna go in the rice. And this is, is for the goat meat. I'm gonna fry with onion, garlic, and carrot to finish it up later. Let's start cooking. All right. Get the oil a little bit out. I'll say probably three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of oil, let it get hot. I really like to have my meat at least, I'll say 24 hours. But this time I only did it for about an hour and a half. I hope it comes out good. So, I can still smell all the marination. So, so I hope it comes out good. So, stay with me. I'm gonna wait for the oil to get hot, then I'm gonna show you all. Back again. <laughs> She's, see the lady behind the camera here, she tried to make some jokes before I start the camera. But anyway, let's begin cooking here. Eh? <laughs> all right, so let's put the onion. This is a special meal, and I'm gonna tell you guys why it's a special meal when I'm done. All right, see that onion? I always love the, the smell of the onion. Let's get the garlic out. And I always say, thanks to the, my wife here recording me while I'm doing this. She's completely shy from a camera. But she doesn't mind being behind the camera. So I want to give it a little bit, uh, let us simmer together, and then I'm gonna put um, the meat. Let us simmer a little bit. Another idea of making meat a different ways, always different ways. I'm always gonna hear somebody's gonna say, that's not the way to cook rice, that's not the way to cook meat. But who's, who designed anyway, cooking in certain way? I never knew. You'll figure that out. All right, so we got, uh, that's what this is doing. I need the salt. I need some salt. Just to remember I put some salt in the meat too, right? So. Don't overdo it. Grab the meat. See how it's getting a little reddish around? That's how I like it. I don't want to burn it either. That's like that. Grab the good stuff here. this almost 6.45 forget I'm gonna finish it finish it up inside the oven so I'll put the onion in a bath when my oven get ready. Leave it here for about 10, 15 minutes. Something like that. I'm gonna put the onion, I'm gonna put the carrot, 
and I'm gonna dump it inside the oven. So now uh, my oven is ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the magic sauce here into the sauce, to, into the, the goat meat, and I'm gonna dump it in the oven. So let me show you all. Smell coming out. Good, good smell so far. Put down the magic sauce. I hope uh, you did see the video of the magic sauce that I did. And I will go back in the link and look at it, how I made it. It's not gonna be wasted. All right, grab the carrot. A little bit. Cilantro. Not much. That's, That's done. Okay, so now I'm gonna dump it inside the oven. This is uncut. If you see any mess, it's fine. All right, this one is out. Just like that. So I'm gonna dump it in the oven for about, let's say another 45 minutes, and that should be coming up off the bone. Okay, seal it. Okay. And then I'll dump it in the oven. Put it and forget about it for 45 minutes. Let's get cooking the rice now. Wash my hand. All right. So don't forget, I'm gonna use the same, the same pan. Let's put it here. I'm gonna use the same pan. Don't let all those gravy and everything get wasted, okay? Yeah, all that stuff there, don't let it, don't get it wasted. Yeah, scrape it like whatever that you can scrape. Like that. The garlic. Dump the onion in there. You can always use a new pan, but why you want to do that? All that gravy, man. Tight plus. All the seasoning here. All right, I want to show you all the chicken cube in there. Yeah. One chicken cube. Smell coming out. Good smell. Bring the rice. A lot of people they put a lot of oil. If you want to go ahead, put a lot of oil. But for me, I prefer limited oil that I can. Alright, make sure your hands are nice and clean. Don't waste any rice. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you fry it. Just continue stirring this. All the good stuff has to come out from the bottom. In there. Just kind of in there. If you don't like this, uh, the stuff like this, you can always boil the cinnamon and all that inside inside the water. All right. So what you do is you always have water boiling. Some water in there. 
always like to use the hot water. Okay, just to finish it up like that. So I like to add a little bit of salt because if though I know I put just 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 a little bit. The chicken cube has salt too as well. So try add more water. So what we want to do is, as I always say, I want to make sure the rice disappears like that. Let it come to a boil. And then once it does that, then you dump it inside the, the oven too. That's enough. That's good. Put that right now. That's it. Before I do that, actually, let me see how like it's bubbling I can smell it too all the good stuff now coming out so it's coming to a boil right now people are always terrified when they make when they making rice you know I don't see any any big deal about making rice but anyway that's another story all right, so let's cover it like that. Temperature, always. Once you, that, once you cover it, low it down. All right, so leave it around there. That's it. Around three, it's good. Let it cook. And I will see you all later when the food is ready so I can tell you all how the food taste how the food came out and what is the special event about cooking this food i'm gonna tell you guys later stay tuned all right so before i put it in the oven so let me put the raisin here Ooh, it's almost hot that thing right there i like to dump that thing in there my son loves these raisins he loves the raisin and then i got and i got the food coloring sorry about the mistake just a little bit that. Oh, cover it back. And in the oven. Just make sure you wear the gloves, please. I don't want to see you getting burned while you're making food either. Turn that right thing. All right. Put it and forget about it. <laughs> see you in about. 20 minutes. Hey. Now my rice is ready. It's been almost been half an hour in there. Oh, I don't know where I put it. Okay. Get this one of rice out. The meat is not ready for sure, so just leave it in there. So let's get this rice to make sure it's completely 100 percent is ready. Should be. That rice completely ready. Completely ready. Alright, see how fluffy is it? It's ready. It's good. You know what? Overcook the rice. Alright, so cover it back. And don't forget, even now that, that I took it out from the oven, it's still for the next 10 minutes while it's cool enough, it still is gonna cook. Continue cooking. So stay with me, um, with me, and I'm gonna show you all when it's on the plate, when I get the meat out of the oven. Hello, we're back after, supposed to be after 45 minutes, but what I noticed is when you fry the goat meat, right? So I thought like, you know, fry for like 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna put it in the oven. It should be ready within 45 minutes. No, my mistake, my bad, nope, it does not work like that. So it took about three hours, 45 minutes, does not work well, especially if you're gonna fry it. If you're gonna boil it, yes, you can boil it and then put it in the oven for 15, 20 minutes and it should be done, but not when you fry it. So I recommend three hours, 350, and you should be, comes off the bone. So let's get the rice right now, okay? Okay, this is the rice. 
you don't have to take the leaves and all that you just leave it there you pick and choose how you want to do it all right so get the rice out right there let's close the meat for now and I'm gonna get the meat Ooh, it's coming out like crazy all right so that is the meat I thought it's gonna be it's gonna be forget about forgetting about it, putting and forget about it for 45 minutes no this time it's gonna be put in there and forget about it for three hours that's how it works okay so let's get the meat out well done as you see we're gonna get some salad let's get some salad here it's basically it's just a lettuce tomato and onion and olive oil and salt and black pepper all right so now what we're gonna get is called plate, plate, plating. We're gonna plate it a little bit, a little bit parsley, like that. And you get the, the hot sauce here, okay? And you get the banana must eat with it. All right, that's how it works. If you're gonna eat Somali food, you gotta eat all the way, all right? Here it goes. I hope you guys like this video, and if you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you never subscribed before, consider subscribing, hit the bell button, so that way you can get not notified when I upload a new video. Till then, as usually what I say in every end of video, yeah, yeah! Yeah, the surprise that I was talking about earlier is they eating right now. How was it, guys? How was it? Yes, no, maybe, maybe not. It always tastes good. But anyway, the surprise that I was talking about earlier is, is I'm gonna say, happy 10th anniversary, mama. <laughs> <laughs> that was a surprise. <laughs>